First of all, Prime Minister Sanada, welcome to your news. Thank you. Uh, the border dispute between your country and Slovenia, it has, it's over a small part of the Adriatic Sea and yet it has become such a big issue between you and uh, Slovenia. But now Slovenia, as an EU member, has threatened to veto your country's membership. How did it get to this point? Uh, first, I think, uh, uh, and I agree with you, this is a, a relatively small, small issue, but it is becoming big because of uh, political, uh, it's becoming a political tool uh, in, uh, in our negotiations with the European Union, which, is, uh, which should be not the case. Uh, but this is really the first time where we have uh, in, in the Balkans uh, an EU member and an non-EU member, and there's concern that this could set a, a precedent. Yes. Uh, I mean, what for you is, is, is the solution? For me, it's the solution first to draw the law, uh, line of separation between the accession talks and the border dispute, and second, to go before the International Court of Justice, which is the, the UN body, uh, which has dealt so far with more than 50 cases in its history. And uh, the, la the la last case uh, which they resolved has been uh, the border dispute on the sea between Romania and Ukraine. And that was very successful. But from what I understand, uh, your government's position is it's more, it's a legal issue. Yes. Whereas Slovenia's position is it's a political issue. So they're asking for uh, EU, EU uh, mediation. Would you be against this? No, we, we are not against any involvement of the European Commission. Uh, in this case, uh, what we are against is uh, the fact that it is being brought up to the, to the table of our negotiations. To put it as an as a obstacle for Croatia in our negotiations talks and, and, and even what, what you mentioned in your first question, to veto Croatia's succession because of bilateral border issue. It's not uh, European, it's not fair, it's not correct. Um, when you talk about veto, I mean another question of veto um, has been regarding NATO membership. Yes. Next month, the summit uh, mm. uh, in Strasbourg, 60th anniversary, you are set to become a, a member of NATO. But there have been some Slovenian nationalist parties that are trying to get uh, enough signatures to have a, a referendum on your membership. How does this, how do you react to this? This is not the right way to do it. This is not, uh, we, I mean, Croatia is already participating in many peacekeeping missions, among others in, in Afghanistan. And uh, I discussed this with uh, Prime Minister Pahor during our last meeting in, uh, in Slovenia. And he told me that he's uh, against this referendum, against these nationalistic uh, forces who uh, push for a referendum which would mean, of course, uh, in a way, a veto for Croatia's succession. And, and has he said that he's he, not worried? He said, he said that he's against uh, of this, and uh, so let's see what, what will happen. I hope that uh, everything will be okay, that Croatia will celebrate with other allies 60th anniversary of this uh, great alliance. Um, another big um, uh, subject for, for Croatia's membership to the European Union has been the talk of corruption and organized crime. Uh, last fall, there were a series of, of killings of, of journalists and uh, lawyers. And you said that you did not want Croatia to become another Beirut. Uh, that was my first reaction after those killings. And uh, then, as you know, as uh, the European public knows very well, we changed, we reshuffled the government after those killings. and. Uh, 
I appointed two new ministers, Minister for Justice and Minister for Interior, um, uh, and we yeah. resolved all those is issues. Uh, the killers are in prison, yeah. and, uh, and we, we, we would like now uh, to continue with these uh, strong measures in, in fighting against uh, corruption and organized crime. I read recently in that only 25% of Croatians are enthusiastic about joining the EU. H how do you explain this? I explain it in, uh, very, very easily. It's very simply. Uh, whenever uh, Croatia gets some problems on its way to EU, to the EU, uh, the public support uh, is reduced. When we solve, so uh, the, the last uh, polls, I have the polls which says that uh, between 35 and 40 percent, but even if it's 25 percent, it's due to this Slovenian blockade from December. You know that uh, Slovenia has blocked because of this bilateral issue and with 11 chapters. So the mood is always is psychologically also to be explained. Uh, if there are some blockage, uh, some problems on our way, the support falls down. If uh, there are some light at the end of the tunnel, there are some light on the, on the horizon, the public support uh, increases. So let's see it how, how it will, it will uh, develop in the, in the coming weeks and months.